Hi there, it's Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales here and we are here on the Hamble River today and I'm on board a Fairline Squadron 42. Now this boat is a 2012 boat, it is beautifully presented and there's a word I might use a few times in this video which is a word that probably didn't exist in, I say the English language, it's not really in the English language, but the word sea tagged is something which a lot of people now talk about when a boat has gone off to a company called Sea Tag down in Plymouth and had a really nice internal refit and this Squadron 42 is just such a boat. Now this boat was actually at the Southampton Boat Show in 2021 and was Sea Tag's show boat to show what they can do to a boat which perhaps you want to refresh up the um, internal upholstery, headlinings and that's been done on this boat. So what I'll do is as I'm going through the walkthrough tour on this boat I'll point out some of the things that Sea Tag have done but fundamentally this is a walkthrough tour about the Squadron 42. Now the Squadron 42 is a brilliant boat, it feeds on from the Phantom series, so um, Fairline made the Phantoms up until the late sort of 2008-2009 and the Squadron then took over and it's only very very recently in the last six months that Fairline have actually brought the Phantom range back, so the Squadrons have been synonymous, is that such a word, synonymous? I think it's a good word, um, it's for the last 10-15 years with high quality Fairline flybridges. So, Let's start off at the back here. This seating arrangement here has been seat tagged. You can see upholstery here that's been used, which has got an internal and an outside fabric. Um, it actually feels like fabric, but it's very, very hard wearing. And this is a very interesting design, um, this seat. So what you can actually have on this seat is you have it in this normal position where it's facing forward that you would perhaps expect to see on a flybridge, but you can also pull the seat into this position so you can sit facing backwards. Now, Fairline say that should only be used when you're in port, and a nice rear view, but of course you can just keep it as it is now. And it's a really nice large size cockpit on this Squadron 42. Now, the cockpit is dominated with this large hatch here, which gives you access to two things. It gives you access to a lazarette space and also your engines. Now this boat is powered by twin Volvo Penta D6 370 horsepower engines. They're provided on shaft drives and as you can see here the access is pretty good all around the engines. Um, the headroom is not enormous um, but you can also get access to the engines through the saloon space with some additional uh, hatches in there as well. But it's a good space to be able to work in there and I like the fact that here you've got access to both the lazarette and also the engine space and there's loads and loads of uh, um, space to put all of your bits and bobs down there. This boat isn't fitted with a generator but of course a generator could be fitted and if it was there's loads of space in the lazarette for that. We'll start at the back of the boat. One thing I really like is you've got a double access to the boat. So you've got a door which is on this side here, which is all supported with a gas strut, and you've also got a door on that side, which really adds to a nice feeling of spaciousness around the, the cockpit area of the boat. But as we go out here, the bathing platform has got a couple of features. There is a passerelle fitted, which is really useful if this boat were to go out to the Mediterranean where it's very popular to stern to more. But what you've also got is a system on here, and I'll overlay a photograph of this working. And what you have is a Fairline tender launch system where a tender can actually go onto chocks on the back of this bathing platform. And then this section of bathing platform here, this square, lifts out and then launches the tender. And it's a really, really good design. It means that you don't have to have a great big crane or a passerelle that comes up here or a hydraulic platform. So you've got a lot less things to go wrong with a really nice Fairline tender launch system on this. So if we come back in, let's head down the side decks first of all. This boat is fitted with the optional LED courtesy lighting pack. So all around the cockpit space and also on the flybridge, you've got the blue LEDs. You've got these really nice teak steps, which lay up here. And then we always look at the sort of the safety angle of how easy it is to walk down. The guardrails are at a good height and they're good wide side decks. And these LED courtesy lights actually run the whole way down here. So this boat will really will look very, very special in, at night. Um, there will be a blue glow that would light up the whole boat here in the evening. Now, SeaTag have provided front cockpit cushions for this boat. It's in a two, two tones. So you've got like a sort of a dark indigo blue, and then you've got a really nice um, beigey colour there as well. What you'll notice about the sun pad cushions is that they're split in half down the middle. Now, one of the key features and designs of this boat, and I'll show you when we go into the front cabin, is the fact that you've got this fantastic space that runs all the way down here, which allows light into that cabin. So you basically have a effectively a glass ceiling in the master cabin. 
There are blinds on there that can totally cut it out or mosquito blinds that go over this area here to let air in as well. So it's a really nice and one of the central features I think of this boat. You've got good access around the front here where you've got nice quality designed fair leads. So your lines go to the cleat, then around the fair leads. You've got nice stainless steel um, anchor winch there. You've got a keep on there, the buttons there, so you can operate the anchor from both the higher for helm position on the flybridge, lower, and also here on deck. Little touches that I quite like to see, just a notice here, you've got a stainless steel um, line that just goes there. So if your lines are moving forward, then instead of rubbing the, uh, the GRP, you've got access so it just rubs across on the stainless steel there. So good access all the way around here. And then you can just see some little points there and that's where a cover clips over so you don't need to take the cockpit cushions off. If you don't want to, you can have a cover that would cover them all in totally. But the view of the boat is really nice here. You can see two big chunky windscreen wipers and then this lovely feature of this high skylight here down in the master cabin. So let's go back along. Just at the point where you're going round into the, into the cockpit area, you've got a good solid stainless steel grab handle here, which makes going back in here really, really nice and safe. And then this quite nice designer shaped cleat here, which I really like. And then just underneath here, you have a little storage locker. You've also quite handily, you've just I like the little touches of thought, you've got a hook there that your stern line can hang on. So if your stern line's falling in the water when mooring up, put it onto the hook and that goes into a drainage locker in there. Or you can stuff it full of cleaning materials, as this owner has done. Right, so let's go up onto the flybridge. You can see the teak is in really, really nice condition. This has clearly been treated fairly recently. It's got a really nice light effect to it, and that runs all the way up onto these flybridge steps that have this sort of floating effect, that very much like, like a sort of high-end apartment look there. Really like those. Right, let's head up. Right, so up onto the flybridge. Um, using that word sea tag again, the sea tag um, have replaced all of the upholstery up here, and this is now presented in a really nice, I'd call it sort of a champagne beigey colour up here. And the flybridge has got a couple of little features that I want to point out to you. So just in here, you've got a bin. So it's this little thing, but if you've got bottles that you finished up with, bottle tops, you can just pop that into there. And underneath here, the feature everyone looks for on a flybridge is of course the wet bar with the grill. So really, really nice feature. You've got hot and cold running water on there and then the grill. And this would just be a beautiful place to spend a, a lovely Saturday evening grilling, grilling up your barbecue. As we move around, you've got this nice size seating here. Now the seat can either be left into this area here or it can be flipped across to create a chaise long there. But in terms of seating, it's always difficult to know on flybridges quite how you arrange your seating. So you can have just a big horseshoe shape here, then you end up with a sun pad at the back, but then you, don't, you can't seat so many people. This, seat, this design of this flybridge here, I would say you could comfortably get, I reckon you get 10 people up here sitting down. So it's a really cleverly thought out flybridge, really, really big table, and then all the people sitting around there. In terms of the helm position, the helm position is, it feels quite central on this boat because it's not tucked all the way off, but it's just slightly offset uh, to the left-hand side. All of the controls are really nice and easy to handle. Of course, it's a Volvo Penta D6 series, so you've got all the later generation Volvo controls, and this boat is fitted with a bow thruster and a stern thruster as well. And then you can see the later generation of the, the Volvo Penta throttles here as well. Now, all of the navigation on board this boat is powered by Garmin. So up on the flybridge, you've got a good gut size Garmin um, 4012 plotter, which is a really nice big screen there. That's a 12 inch screen on that. And then you've also got Garmin VHF through here as well. Nice helm position. And in terms of covers to um, protect all of this, all of these, air in, all of these items have got independent covers. So during the winter, everything can be all covered up to make sure all of your upholstery stays in tip top condition. And this boat is also fitted with a bimini. So taking it off for the winter, but the bimini frame is nicely tucked away here. And in fact, this is a really nice design because it's really tucked away and you don't really notice it, but that bimini can come across and that provides not only protection from the sun, but also in the evening, it creates this into much more of a usable space in in the evening because that bimini will keep the dew level off so it's a really you, you often see in places like Yarmouth people sat up on the top of their flybridges in the evening with the biminis it's nice 
so I don't think there's anything else to explain up here. Um, just point out the, the fusion speakers. So up in the cockpit, you've got, uh, sorry, the flybridge, you've got speakers all the way around. And of course, the LED lighting package also extends up here onto the flybridge. Right, let's go back down. Nothing, just to point out, there is a glass door. So as you go down the glass, uh, when you leave the boat, you can close that up. So it's totally watertight. The water doesn't get down there, but it still allows lots of light to go down below as well. Right, so shoes slipped off and we come into this area here. Now, I have to say this has got a really nice modern contemporary feel, but what it's still allowed to do is it still feels very, very cosy. I think the use of fabrics has been excellent. The sea tag have used some really nice soft furnishings on this boat and all of this has been replaced. Um, I believe the carpets are new as well. And also on the wall linings as you come in, the wall linings have also been replaced with this really nice, slightly soft sheen effect, and it just softens all of the boat. This boat is clearly a boat that is, you know, it's been loved, and SeaTag have done a really, really nice job at fitting it through. All of the ceiling linings, they've all been replaced as well, and that's with a, a really nice faux suede on there. And it just feels really nice. The, the wood is a darker wood, which is then offset really nicely with the lighter color upholstery. Probably my favourite piece of the soft furnishings on the boat though is this really nice weave on this helm seat. So they've created a slightly different helm seat, so that's got a different feel to the rest of the boat and you've got a really nice pattern in there. You can see on this photograph it works really, really well um, as well as in this video. The helm position is a really nice helm. You've got lots and lots of space up here and sometimes helm seats are good for a couple of people. I think you could argue you could almost get three on there. It's a really nice size, lots of controls and it's nice to see this next generation on Fairline where things like all your isolators are controlled from these little push switches. In fact, when I first came on board the boat, it did take me a few minutes, I wonder where the distribution panel is. What Fairline have done is they've taken, they've got rid of the large distribution panel that takes up lots of space and they just put it all through onto here so you've got your domestic um, power fare, your domestic batteries, your port engine, domestic master, and your engine master. In terms of the layout, it's pretty standard. As I mentioned upstairs, all the nice Volvo D6 controls, good throttle position, everything's at hand, your carling switch is all the way here, and then access to your bow and stern thruster, as well as having another large Garmin plotter here. In terms of window access, you've got a, a little window, so you can, I would say shout at your crew, probably very gently let your crew know where, where, you're, where you're mooring up, so a little access into there, and that's quite nice to see. It's nice to see they haven't gone down a complicated route of having a, a window that perhaps opens up and down, lots of things to go wrong, just a nice simple, simple window there. I quite like that. Oh, and I was nearly said then, I don't know if this boat is fitted with it, it is, it's also fitted with a remote for the bow thruster and also the anchor, so that's quite nice to see. Right, let's carry on down. Now this boat is actually, it's quite a nice split level boat, so it's quite, you step up there into the helm position and then coming down here, one thing I really like is the use of this glass, so it makes this boat feel very, very open, but also nice and safe and secure so your children don't fall down the hole there into the galley area. And the galley is a really good size, surprisingly big for this size boat. Um, worktop runs all the way along, it's in, presented in a really nice quartz finish, so it's a big chunky worktop and that feels nice, and then you've got a good sink in there. In terms of storage, all of these lockers are storage lockers, nicely presented with little catches on the top that clip together. You've got electric hob, electric grill, and then you've got a large fridge in there. There is also a very, very important storage facility in the bottom here, which is extremely well stocked with the best thing for a boat, lots and lots of beer. And then just behind us here, there's another area of storage. Lots of, there's, a good, there's a good compromise there. You've got beer in there, and then you've got water for the hangover the next morning in there. It's quite nice, that. You could get a washing machine in there, actually. Yeah, washing machine would fit in there if you wanted one. That, that's the place. We've just taken on a Princess 54, and I think that's the place in there on that boat, on the galley, that the, the washing machine is. Um, in terms of storage, there's something that really strikes me on this boat is there is a lot of storage. So here you've got sort of pantry cupboards. So you can see boxes of cereals, cans, everything you need in a sort of pantry style cupboard. So storage really has been very, very well thought through on this boat. This is a two cabin boat. So you have a twin 
cabin, which is just in here. Again, you can see the use of ni nice um, soft furnishings, darker wood, and then this lighter uh, upholstery and bed throws all the way out. And of course, this is one of the later generation boats that has these windows that are cut into the hull, which both provide lots and lots of light, um, but also good, nice bit of style on the outside. So when you wake up in the morning, instead of just having two little portholes just to provide air, you've got a lovely view of the marina. When there's not a boat next door, that is. Um, there's also LED lighting throughout the butt cabin, so all the way under here, you can probably just see it illuminating. Uh, there's a nice soft lighting that runs all the way through here. If I'm honest, I'm not sure if that's been added by SeaTag or if that's part of the Fairline lighting package, but which whoever's added it, it's a nice feature. Now, this boat is, has got the Jack and Jill feature, so we can go through this door here, and perhaps I'll meet Jonathan on the other side. So I can then step up here into the heads, this nice designer countertop um, sink is on here, storage space under here, obviously hot and cold running water, and then quite like the fact that when that door is open, you can open that all the way up, it clips into place, give John a little wave there, um, and the toilet just disappears behind it. But then you've also still got a good sized shower that you can still get into, and this is totally enclosed, so I quite like that. It has got a nice feeling that you can get rid of the loo and just turn this into a really nice shower room. I like the fact, the, the, the fact you step up into here and it creates a yeah, totally separate space. Let's that back up again. What's the view like from there, Jonathan? It's really nice. Oh, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So you literally, I, I open that and went, oh, where's the loo gone? <laughs> so the loo's touched behind there. Just a clever bit of design there from Fairline. It's been well thought out. Right. Let's move back around here. In fact, what... What do you, if I go back around, we'll play a little game. <laughs> you come around here, I'll go back in there, and then just open that door, and then that gives you the full view of that space. I like it when boat owners, clearly designers, think about the way that they, they lay out things. And here we are in the master cabin. So the real feature in this master cabin is this fantastic light that runs all the way through here. So you've got this skylight that just floods this entire room with natural light. I have only got two little reading lights on at the moment and this room is totally beautifully lit. Um, all of the soft furnishings have been updated in this room. So you've got a really nice um, sort of chain link effect um, on the back there. Nice courtesy LED reading lights. And then this, again, slightly different feel soft furnishings along the side here. It is difficult if I'm honest to know exactly which bits have been sea tagged, but I think in here all of the soft furnishings that you can see have been done and also the wall linings in here are a different style of wall lining which I like so they've not just used the same fabric in this room they've separated it out so you've got different feels in different cabins. Wardrobe space is really good now there's quite a lot of the owner's things on board this boat but you can see you've got full full size storage in there You've also got locker space which runs throughout underneath the bed and you've got LED lighting which is all throughout the bottom there. Just dropped the microphone off, that's not good. Sorry if that gave a little... Drop the mic. Literally dropped the mic. So you've got really nice storage uh, underneath there as well as LED lit which just gives it a really nice feel. I like the use of these, these steps here, look like they're sort of a floating step. I think there's lots of design features on this boat that have been really well, well thought out. If I just allow Jonathan to move around to one side, I will show you the other heads. So here is the other heads on the boat. Again, you've got a really nice designer uh, countertop sink on there. Toilet, all fresh water flush, electric flush toilets. And then again, your, your shower room. Almost strike, it almost feels a bit more like a sauna than a shower. I don't know why. Just those, I like the fact you step into a shower and it's rather than being a cubicle uh, which has a door that pulls round. I just like the fact it's, it's lots of headroom in there. Closed in and you've got a little lockers there so no one can come and disturb you. Unless you want to be disturbed of course. Right. Let's head back in. And I think then just to give a little bit more of an overview of the boat, I shall just have a little sit down. So this has been the first time that I've been on board a Squadron 42. And I have said I really, really like the style. It's got a fresh feeling. It's got lots and lots of light, lovely, clever uses of the windows running down the sides. And this boat, because it's had the sea tag treatment, the finish on it feels 
fantastic. It really does feel like a mini super yacht. So this Squadron 42, remember it's a 2012 boat, but it did have a complete refit done in 2021. Powered by those Volvo Penta D6 370 engines, should propel this boat along, should be around about the 28 knot mark, cruising comfortably about 23, 24 knots. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough tour. It's been a little bit different to bring you a sea tagged boat. Really enjoyed presenting the boat and we very much look forward to seeing you on the next video. This boat is of course available from Parkland's Boat Sales. Please get in touch to arrange a viewing. Thanks as always for watching.